and you walked him to the corner to talk to Dana White. What were you saying before you put him down and went to work? I said that I'm the king here. I was there a long time. I'm gonna come for everybody. Was it me or is Kamzat Shemaev losing his boogeyman aura that he had? Listen to me. I think the UFC has to get it right with Kamzat this year. By the end of this year, at the very least. Kamzat should be fighting for a championship if he gets past Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He should be fighting for a championship early next year. He should be. 100% without a doubt. Listen, Kamzat came into the UFC like an absolute bulldozer. Being a tweener between welterweight, middleweight. But he looked scary. But most importantly, he looked like the next big thing. Now, we know what happened. He had a nasty bout with COVID. Things took a downward trend. He was extended, and his gas tank didn't look as strong as it may have looked or could have looked because he was ending his fight so early. But some of the names he's beaten so far in his UFC run have been pretty impressive, whether it be Gerald Mearshart, right? Li Zhang Liang, Gilbert Burns, Kevin Holland, Kamara Usman. And now he's got Robert Whitaker up next. If he gets past Robert Whitaker, he should be fighting the winner of Israel Adesanya or DDP. Simple as that. But they got to get it right. Because I feel like the more that guy sits around waiting, the more the aura, the more the star power that Kamzat she might have had starts to wane a little bit. And I get it. We can't predict injuries. You can't predict fighters pulling out. And part of it is Kamzat. You have some to share some blame in that as well. We don't know all the inner workings of things. But what I do feel is I feel like if that guy is not fighting for a championship, if he makes it past Robert Whitaker, this will probably go down as one of the biggest flops in UFC history. I believe Kamzat Shemaev could be the next big thing. He's already 30 years old, though. Not old, not super old, but when you think about it in fighters' years, probably got to about 35 years old to really be dominant. But you got to ask, how long does he want to do this? How long does he want to do this? And that's for a whole nother conversation. My call to action is for the UFC, for the promotion, Sean Shelby, Dana White. If he gets through this, I don't care what may come. If Izzy winds up beating, right, if Izzy winds up beating DDP, we don't need to see Alex versus Izzy again for the light heavyweight championship. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see anything other than then comes out Shemaev. And it puts a lot of people in a very weird spot because Sean Strickland, he's deserving of a, of a rematch. He certainly is. But when I look at it right now, I think the UFC needs, needs to do right. If Kamzat can get by this tough test, they need to do right by Kamzat. You need to give him a crack at the belt at the very, very least. If he, you know, goes for it and doesn't, and doesn't break through, fine. But that guy, I really believe, has the potential to be something really, really special. Really, really, really special. And it, UFC owes it to him. They owe it to themselves to see what they have in a guy like Kamza Shemaev. But let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are. If you like more video content like this, give this video a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel.